What's up, Air Cooled Army? It's your friend Pete, back again with an update on the Avery chassis. We're in the continued process of shortening it 14 inches, and we had a custom plate on the, the center section of the tunnel, water jetted out, and we got it back, and super impressed uh, with the fit and the design elements that we put in place. We're gonna show you how we are going to install it, what we did to reinforce the tunnel, the tubes, the accelerator cable. Uh, we included something new, a little, little special touch uh, suggested to the Avery family. They said, let's do it. We did it. Come on, let's show you. While we have it completely apart, um, the conversation was had uh, about cleaning up uh, the wiring on the car. And what we're gonna do is we're actually, since his dash is about here uh, on his car, you, can, you can't even really see the pedals uh, from the way that it is. I'll show you a kind of a picture of the car right here. Um, so the dash being here, his wiring actually comes in to the back of the dash and instead what we're going to do is we're going to do a uh, one inch conduit over here and bring it out through this area and out You just saw Joey uh, taking this uh, apart. So hopefully that doesn't make a whole bunch of noise. And, and what we did on the chassis we gave away is we just opened this up. So we're just gonna open this up and allow the conduit to come in and come right out the outside corner uh, of this. And what that does is on a fiberglass car, they have the kind of like the, the flange that sits out here and there's a tube. So there's going to be visual of the wiring going into that tube that's built in. And it was one of those things that was a sore thumb for, for me on the Manx build because you, even though we shrunk wrap the, the wiring loom, uh, it didn't look like it belonged there. It looked like it was a kick car. So the idea we have is let's put it in the tunnel. Then the side view here of the car, you'll never see any wiring. It'll be all nice, tucked up nice. And it'll come out of the chassis here into the dash. It'll come out here, be attached to uh, the transmission, the, the engine compartment, and then up to his taillights, the starter, everything all in the back here. Also, we're gonna take these off 
uh, cut these out. And since we're gonna run some new lines and kind of detail this all out, we're gonna make our own little bracket ears coming off of this. And so we get rid of this little piece of sheet metal. And then we're gonna tie the entire rear end together for twist and structure um, all at the same time. So, um, we'll shorten this once we get the, that back on, along with the clutch tube, and uh, make it nice. Let's see what we can do. All right, got a little work done here. So, if you remember in the episode, this one here, when we we're taking it apart, we had a really big problem. Both the, uh, the nuts are broke off, the bolts broke off, so we had to take it off. So we used some body bonds here and we're gonna weld them up. Also, we're going to start getting everything kind of mocked up in here as far as the linkage, and the auxiliary cable and the clutch tube. Reinforced the clutch tube and shortened it. Got everything kind of welded in, even the little braces in there welded in nice. And we got a wire tube, that a little wiring conduit that we put through the tunnel. Made sure that the linkage can go in and out. Did some reinforcements. Uh, we just welded those to kind of keep it stiff and solid. Welded the tubes in there. So guys, we just got done uh, removing this. You saw uh, Joey remove the panel that was back here, and you might notice that we have a new little relief cut here. And uh, we're doing a little uh, customization for the flank. Uh, we're gonna do a conduit. We did uh, 062 uh, mild steel one inch tube. And we're gonna put a conduit through the center of the chassis here. And we just got done drilling the hole. And basically we're just going to get the wiring loom to go through the chassis so you don't see it uh, underneath the fender. Everything will come out here, come out and uh, we'll cut a hole in the uh, tin here and uh, be really clean install. So we're gonna show you uh, us putting the conduit in and uh, we've already checked the linkage we put the linkage in here and uh, checked the fit prior to me showing you here to make sure that I could still get the linkage out and it doesn't get in the way um, so let's show that all right so we have the tube in we have it poking out a little bit we're gonna do a little Back on that side and attack here and around the edges. And we drilled out the holes a little bit bigger so that the tack weld will melt in. So we're gonna get that uh, handled now.
coming together nicely. Now we're gonna test fit this bad boy in there, see how it looks, and uh, clamp it in place, get it plug welded, and let's do this. Back up. What do you do when you're losing? Where do you turn when the cards get stacked? You keep on pushing when you're black and blue. When do you got hope? You can come right back. Cause it ain't over. Got the bottom part all welded in. Got this all measured up, squared up, and centered. And we're gonna plug weld it and wrap this part of it up. Let's go.
Flat Out Customs in England, hooking it up for the buggy. These stampings are sweet. Next week, we'll put them on. Cause we never quit We keep knocking on the door Till they let us in And We'll get back up and Didn't record any of that Yeehaw! <laughs> I, sh I didn't even see the red light Blinking Like the whole time Hey guys The 2021 promotion is still going on You can win one of these ultimate beams by subscribing, commenting below on any air cool video you see. That's easy, that's all you gotta do. Enter today, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next film.